Hello everyone. Our group is called Go With The Flow. Our members consist of Claire Copeland, Carson Key, Zach Paget, and myself, Hayden Carlson. Our project was a water fountain. Our initial design was going to be a fountain that had two spouts shooting onto a spoon in the middle that would spray the water to spin the wheels. There was many problems wrong with this design, such as it being too expensive to create the laminar flow and get the two pumps. From this, our design changed drastically into what it was on Fed Day. In our project, we focused a lot on our design and how to make it interesting and complex. After we found our base, we liked the idea of going with metal buckets, and once we decided on a moving aspect for the fountain, we needed a way for the water to hit the wheels to make them move. That is how we came upon the staircase of the buckets onto the wheels. Also, we decided on an NC State theme, so we molded a wolf and uh, painted it black and gray and made the wheels red. Our first step in the building process was building our laminar flow nozzle and constructing the clay wolf to go around the nozzle. Next, we began to drill holes into metal buckets that the water flows out of. We then cut different lengths of bamboo and attached them to the metal buckets with glue. We had to do a variety of tests to find the right spacing between buckets and the right angle and power for our nozzle and pump. We then built a base to allow for easier attachment and screwed the buckets in place. Lastly, we built and attached a wooden box which could be tilted to various angles. For the materials, we found a bucket I already owned and ordered many metal buckets off Amazon. To hold the buckets, we found some bamboo in the craft center, but to get correct sizes, Carson brought some from home. Then we needed wood for the wheels and the base, which we found in the craft center. Lastly, we needed the pump to move the water, PVC pipe for the water to go through, and tubing to connect the pump to the PVC. During our process, we encountered many problems. Our first major problem was that we ordered the wrong size tubing for our pump. We tried to stretch it, but it was just too small. Halfway through our process, our pump gave out. The materials inside the nozzle were putting too much pressure against the pump, so we stripped them out. With no laminar flow, there was a lot more splashing, and we had to be sure the water wheels worked. Our next major problem was that the wheels we created were too heavy to spin. We eventually found a material that was light enough to spin, yet thick enough to stay stiff when wet. With everything in place and working, we were ready to slip the wolf head over the PVC. Unfortunately, it cracked in half. Luckily, we still have time to rebuild it, and the paint covered most of our remodeling. Everything seemed to be going smoothly, and then 16 hours before our time to present, our hot glue seal broke. Instead of panicking, we waited until the morning before fed to glue everything over one more time. From then on, everything seemed to be in good working condition. We fared well at the fed competition, with our fountain working well despite having several issues pop up at the last minute. One of the flaps on the left water wheel snapped while in transit to fed, and had to be glued back together on site. The fountain was also consistently splashing small amounts of water onto the table, which would eventually build up into puddles. Despite encountering problems, we ended up taking fourth place, just five points behind first. While there are several specific things that I believe we would do differently if we had the chance, such as using a stronger clay or finding a way to reduce the splashing, if there is one overall lesson that I would take away, it's that we should have started physical construction earlier. If we have any advice for other groups doing this project, it would be to start building as soon as possible. Planning ahead is important, but it's also important to leave yourself time to test and fine tune the physical components. We had a lot of fun making this project, and hope you enjoyed watching.